Yeah, hello everyone. I am Amitesh at GetSet SQL, and in this tutorial, we will learn how to delete duplicate rows. So, in SQL Server, there are three ways we can use delete duplicate rows. We will discuss each and every example here in much detail. So, let's start and stay tuned. Well, it happens sometimes like we receive the more than one occurrence of the same row into the database, which create a problem with the result sets. So we go into a scenario to delete those duplicacy from the data and retain only one existence of it. Okay. So how we can do this? Let me show you the very first example using the sub query. So in sub query, I already have an example. I would go to sample database and I have created a sample table that I will recreate again just to give you a clear idea. A new table is created with four columns. You can see ID, first name, last name and address, right? Where ID is an identity column. Okay, now table has been created. We'll insert some value into it. Fine. So nine rows inserted and you will see deliberately I have insert uh, I have inserted few repeated values like Le John, Lindsay, Britain, then Linda, Albert, Europe three times, then Preeti, Zoya, India four times, right? If I show you the table, you can see that rows has been repeated in this table, but I want to keep each existence of first name, last name and address. I don't want the repetition here. So how would I delete this? Fine. You will see I have an ID column which is identity enabled and in every row I have a unique number, a consecutive number here. So based on this, I can identify the maximum ID of each row set. Okay. Like John, Linda, Britain is repeating twice, but the maximum ID is two in the same way, Linda, Albert, Europe repeating thrice. But the maximum ID for this row set is 5. In the same way, Preeti Joya India has the maximum ID 9. So first, using correlated subquery, I will identify the maximum ID values and then we'll see how to delete this. So I have written a correlated subquery. Now, what is correlated subquery is I have already given a few bullet points here. That query nested within another query is called subquery. You can see one select statement is written here. And in the where clause, I have written a, another select statement, right? Now, this is a subquery. It is also a correlated subquery. Why? Because the innermost query's output is depend on the outermost query. Because the outermost query is giving reference to the innermost query. So where the first name, last name and address matches, only those ID should be matched with the outer query. Okay but in innermost query i'm asking for the maximum id of each row set for first name last name and address and that should be matching with the outer query only those sets of maximum id would match with the outer queries id and then will be produced as an output okay so the john linda britain is having a maximum id too so maximum id for that that, that first name last name and address will be matched here Two, so that row only for this row set will be produced as an output in the same way the fifth and ninth. Let me show you in the example. Query executed and the maximum ID values for each first name, last name and address is displaying here. Fine. So in a way I have identified the rows. Now. On the same basis, if once I have identified the row, then I can also delete those. But I'm this time not deleting the maximum row. I'm saying retaining those rows and deleting only rows from the student where ID should not be maximum for the same row set. Okay. So innermost query and outermost query would run for the same first name, last name and address, but their ID should not be maximum. Whatever the maximum ID is produced by the inner query should not match with the ID of outer query and those all rows should be deleted. Okay. So that means 9 for Preeti, 5 for Linda 
and two for John should not be deleted and rest all should be deleted okay because id should not be maximum here should be lesser than the maximum id that i'm trying to say okay once i run this query you can see six row has been deleted and if i go back to the table again you will see maximum id for each row set has been retained and all deleted so that is the first way now let's see how we can delete repeated values using common table expression and row number function. In this example, we'll be deleting rows using row number and common table expression. Let me first drop that table again and recreate it. Fine. And then insert the repeated value again. Now the table is fresh with all new records. And this time you can see the same row set John Lindsay Britain, Linda Albert Europe, and Preeti Joya India is repeating again. But this time we don't have any unique column to identify the sequence of the rows, okay, or minimum or maximum uh, values of each row set. So this time all rows are very identical with data sets. So this time I will use row number function and I will manipulate to create a ID in the query itself. If the ID column is not given here, then I by myself using the row number function would create an ID okay, in the select statement. What I am doing, uh, first we need to understand what row number function does. So row number function basically assign a consecutive number to each row based on the over clause. Now what this over clause is doing, it is partitioning the complete row set of that data based on first name, last name and address. So it means that row set would be partitioned separately. That row set would partition again separately and then this would have a separate partition. And each partitioning would assign a consecutive value. It means this is a separate partition. So this row number function will assign a consecutive values 1, 2 and then this partition is separate so we'll reassign a value starting from 1 2 and 3 and then for third partition it would be 1 2 3 4 fine let me show you this query i'd run this and you can see the new column which is assigning subsequent number to each row set starting from one every time it is starting from one because this is a separate partition so for each partition it is creating a sequence number okay now this query we can use into cte as an expression and further this cte can be used in the delete statement so what i will be doing i have put this expression into cte expression and will delete the rows from the cte directly where rn is greater than one so if i execute this statement you'll see again six rows deleted and if i query the table you can see only single existence of each row set has been retained else everything has been deleted so this was the second way of doing this now let's see how we can delete the duplicate rows using temp table deleting rows using the temp table is the most easiest way okay let me just drop and recreate the table again and reassign the duplicate rows Insert. so again we have a fresh table with the repeated rows now in this method what i will do is to create a temporary table using the distinct keyword okay so uh, i will query this table using the distinct keyword and you will see so only the rows without repetition will be produced here and this result set i will dump into a temp table using into statement okay so i am selecting distinct values first name last name and address from the student table and using into statement i am dumping that result set into a temporary table let me make you understand that what the temporary table temporary table is basically a table which remain available only for the session okay whenever we create a table with adding hash with this name then this table becomes a temporary table. It means it remain available for the session and as I lost the connection from the session, the table will be deleted automatically. Or otherwise, 
by force using drop statement i can drop that table fine so this select statement will perform three activities what these three activities are it will first retrieve the distinct row sets from the student table then in the second step it will create a temporary table with the same structure of the student table and in the third step using into keyword it will assign all that distinct values into that temporary table fine so this single select statement is actually doing three things retrieving the data creating a temp table and then dumping the data into that temp table i will execute this statement the three rows has been inserted now once i have taken the backup of all distinct rows from the table then i can flush out the main table but before that let me show you the main table and temp table you can see the main table has still has repeated values but the temp table has only the unique rows now i will flush out that main table okay all rows deleted and now i will insert the distinct backup rows from the temp table into the main table inserted and this time you can see this table has only unique rows now if i wish i can drop that temp table otherwise if i logged out from the sql session that table would automatically be deleted so that is all for today's session in this session we have learned that how to delete duplicate rows from the table in three ways first way is using correlated sub queries in the second way deleting rows using row number function and ct expression and in the third way using temporary table we can delete duplicate rows if you want to read out more about sql server blogs you can visit my website www.getsrsql.com it has many article including sql server database ssis ssas and ssrs reporting services i'll keep adding more topics in this website like power bi altrix and tableau also so this is all about this session if this tutorial has added some value into your knowledge please like this video and subscribe my channel i'll come soon with more interesting and learning videos till then please take care stay blessed thank you